Hi, Yarnabees. It's Sandy. I have a few things to talk to you about today. I actually have some finished objects. <gasps> Shocking. <laughs> um, I also have a list. I'm starting my lists again. So um, the sun is shining. It is so pretty out. Pretty soon I'm going to be able to start vlogging outside again. That might be fun. <laughs> So that means that my one year anniversary is coming up soon. Hmm. Wow. One year on YouTube. Who knew? Wow. <laughs> Anyways. Okay. So, uh, I've been watching a lot of videos. Have, so have we all. Um, crocheting and watching videos. That seems to be our thing now, eh? <laughs> For a while. Anyway, um, Tracy from Loops and, uh, uh, Tracy from I Love Loopy Crochet and Treasures. <laughs> Holy smokes. Uh, she outdid herself again. Have you seen her video? Um, if not, I will link it down below. She keeps making these beautiful tops, like just that woman knows what she's doing. It, I mean, the tops that she's making is just so beautiful. So beautiful. So good for you, Tracy. I am, I hope to be able to do that one day. I'm still trying to figure out that Anu, Anu, um, uh, shirt with the motif and the, uh, once I get the motif done, the granny stitch is easy. But the motif is just killing me. So, yeah. So there's that. <laughs> um, okay, so Teresa from Craven Crochet and Darla from, um, hello, the Yarny Owl, the Owl, oh crap. <laughs> you know who Darla is. <laughs> I'll leave that right here. Oh, I haven't had enough coffee. Anyways, they were doing this collab along with Lisa from Lisa's Crochet. And they were collaborating, saying, okay, you make my stuff, I'll make your stuff, you know, and, uh, oops, sorry about that, I forgot to turn off my phone. Um, so they were tagging each other, saying, okay, you make one of my patterns and I'll make one of your patterns and vice versa and all that kind of stuff. <clears throat> so anyways, Lisa doesn't make patterns, but she tagged me. <laughs> so I guess that means that I have to make a pattern. She said, I contacted her and she said, you know, just make anybody's pattern and then tag somebody to make one of your patterns. Okay. Um, I think I've only got two clothing patterns out. I've got a bunch of hat patterns and stuff like that, but um, I am going to be doing a tutorial on how to do a campfire cardigan. I'm working on that. <clears throat> so, but uh, for now, I, I accept your challenge, Lisa. Uh, I'm not sure which pattern I'm going to do yet, and I'm not sure which pattern I'm going to get you to do either so and tag someone else so I'm working on that um yeah so anyways Teresa and Darla made these beautiful um outfits right so you're gonna hear some life noises George just came up from working out and he's got his headphones on and he can't hear squat so he doesn't know that I'm videoing Maybe I should tell him. Yes, I am videoing. He just came around the corner, so. Doing a video. I, yeah, I am. <laughs> hello, everybody. He's saying hello. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so anyways, uh, yeah, so they were making some really nice stuff and I, I really want to get on making them. But I've got so much stuff to do right now, so I, I'm going to get there. Not like I don't have enough time on my hands, right? Okay, 
Ella from No Catchy Name. Who knew that she had a second channel for a weight loss journey? I had no idea. I just, I went to, I saw her last video and she started talking about it. And I was like, is this new? No, apparently she's been doing it for a few months and whatever. And like since Christmas or something. And I thought, man, I'm missing out. So I went and checked out her videos and uh, I thought, wow, this is really cool. Uh, I was going to do a vlog on my weight loss journey when I was doing keto and nobody seemed interested. So I didn't do it. <laughs> and then I stopped doing keto and, you know, it's like whatever. Okay. Um, also, Rose from Rose Likes Crochet, she has been talking about this Snowball Express, right? So, from what I understand, um, Gary Sinise, Sinise? Sinise from CSI has been uh, doing this program for kids who have lost their parent, one or more parents or a family member from, um, you know, Army, Navy, Air Force, uh, stuff like that. And he takes them to Disneyland and they get a homemade blanket when they leave. So last year, apparently they had 1200 blankets. They had 1700 kids. So a bunch of kids, went home without a blanket which is heartbreaking totally heartbreaking uh so anyway um i am going to link that video down below and i will also link if i can find it the snowball express website and get involved please because i would hate to see um some kids go home without a blanket so there's stipulations involved and um it's all listed and yeah so i'm in the process of making a blanket um i forgot to bring it in here because it's like this big so far <laughs> so not really show worthy right so anyway so that's uh that's what's going on also, um, Rose from Rose Lakes Crochet, <laughs> she uh, was doing a, um, I don't know what she called it or she called it anything, but anyway, she was doing the, ha the hats for Hat Not Hate and she asked people to email her or message her and, you know, if they weren't able to make hats that she was going to make them for her the program she'll make them for the person and they were supposed to pick a pattern and <clears throat> and that she would make the hat and then she would send it to hat not hate so i thought just for giggles and and to show my support that i would send her one of my hat patterns which is on my etsy page down below uh and i believe i sent her the pattern for pearls for me and she showed the pattern and it looked great right because i wanted to see what that that hat would look like in the the yarn that i chose and uh it looked really good she did a great job on it so if you're interested in that pattern go to my etsy shop and i've got a bunch of patterns there so anyway um okay so now um i can show you what i've made so, <laughs> uh, I started making this sweater and I realized, because I put two different yarns together, I put latte cake and um, uh, Bernat Premium together. So I was gonna make this big long cardigan uh, <clears throat> and I realized it was too heavy and it was gonna take way too long so I frogged the whole thing and then I had this big ball of this mixture 
of these two yarns. And I thought, what am I going to do with this? So what did I do? I made a dog blanket or dog, dog jacket. So, um, the, I did the Bernat premium white and the latte, oops, I've got my hook all hooked in here. Uh, Karen latte. And this is coconut cream. Okay. So this is the blanket or the uh, dog jacket. And it has a little collar piece here. And it has the underbelly strap here. And it's really light. And you know, believe it or not, like it's because I used a 12, no, 12 hook, 9 hook, 12 hook, I think, uh, 12 millimeter. <clears throat> so it's really light and airy. And it's got this little collar on it. It's front post, back post. So, um, yeah, so that's what I made. And then uh, the buttons I did. I don't know if you can see those. They are buttons that I got on, on Etsy. And they're wood buttons. And it says, dogs leave paw prints on your heart. And I put one on the the belly band and I put one on the collar band but what I did was I used metal magnetic snaps okay and they are really oops really strong magnets right so and then I just cut put the um, the button <laughs> on it to cover it so I mean you could do a just a button and then just you know put the button holes in it <clears throat> but so anyways I was thinking if you're interested in me doing a tutorial on how to make this let let me know put it in the comments down below okay so yeah so there it is in all the fuzzies so I'm going to leave a couple pictures here. Uh, I put on Bailey. She hates wearing clothes. <laughs> so um, so I, here's some pictures of uh, Bailey wearing this. Okay. So then I started thinking. I went to Walmart and... Um, we got some groceries and I thought, I'm going to the yarn aisle. Yeah, I know, I'm supposed to be on a yarn ban. Yeah. <sighs> anyway, so I went, I wanted to pick up some more Bernat Premium. Or, yeah, and uh, they had, you know, a few colors there. They didn't have a lot there, but they had two balls only two balls of this color which i i just really like this color and i don't know why it's like a mocha color it's really pretty but it's called taupe heather that's probably why it's heather <laughs> so ow bailey stop scratching me <laughs> it's like a really pretty brown um so I got a couple balls of that and then I got I got a bunch of other colors too. So anyway, I thought, geez, I bet you this color would go really good with this color. So I took the two and I'm starting to make a, a cardigan. Oops. Let's try this again. So I'm doing three rows of the latte and three rows of the premium. So, <clears throat> so that's all I've got so far for the, um, the sweater. So that's how that goes. And I think this is going to turn out really pretty. Like I, you know, if you don't like brown, then you're not going to like it too much. But I think it's really pretty. That's just me. 
I think the two complement each other quite well. So I started making that. Um, I also, if you remember, I made that little baby sweater. I put the snaps, I got the snaps from Amazon and I put the snaps on it. And I got these little, little snaps. So this is complete. I'm so happy with that. And I think the buttons or the snaps really make the sweater. Okay, now for those of you that may have seen the video I did when I um, received the package from Rosalie from Yarn It Out, uh, we were doing a collab, not a collab, we were doing, well, I guess it's a collab. Um, we were going to make teapot hold uh, teapot cozies out of the yarn that we sent each other so she sent me this beautiful um red yarn this claret yarn and i started making the tea cozy <clears throat> so i've got the actual cozy part finished and i made it too long <laughs> Because this is where the teapot sits, but that's okay. Uh, and I, um, so I finished this part, but I haven't put anything else on it. But I wanted to show it anyway. So, and uh, <laughs> so there it is. Um, I don't know what else I'm going to put on it. It's I've had this finished for a little while and I've just been kind of going, what else am I going to do with this? <sighs> so I'm not sure yet. I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> but this part's finished, Rosalie. <laughs> How's yours coming? <laughs> um, yeah, so yeah. So I'm not sure. I may put flowers or something on it. I'm not, I don't know. Not sure. I got, you know, now that we're in um, self-isolation and it's almost becoming like quarantine because lots of crap's going on. Um, I've got lots of time on my hands, but I've got so many things I want to make now. And, no, you know, I'm, there's only a few, you know, a few hours in a day. So, um, did you happen to notice this over here? <laughs> this, I have to say, I'm kind of proud of. This is the sweater that I was making for my daughter. Okay. Now, um, this is a campfire cardigan. But what I did was I made um, tighter sleeves on it. So um, usually the campfire cardigan has the big wide sleeves on them, uh, but I made them smaller, which I've never done before. So now it's it's like a cuff, right? Cuff sleeve, and then the bottom. <coughs> has black on it all the way around uh, and I, I just really like this you know I was really really happy with it and I think Tia is going to be happy with it I hope so because I, I really like how it turned out so when she gets it I'm going to ask her to send pictures and then I can show you what it looks like on her so yeah so there's that. Also, um, do you remember the Soho yarn that I got in one, not my last yarn haul, but the yarn haul before that? Okay. <clears throat> Okay, so this Soho yarn that I got, I started to use it and 
and it feels so much like cotton, I can't work with it. To me, the feel of cotton, Bailey, you guys got it out, the cat and the dog are playing. Um, the, the feel of cotton to me is like nails down a chalkboard. I don't know why, but I just, I don't like the feel of it. And I didn't expect this yarn to feel like that. I am so disappointed. So, um, this was the other one that I got. Okay, they look so beautiful, but I just can't work with them. So guess what? I'm doing a giveaway. Yes, I am. So you guys will be getting 10, 20 balls, 20 of these balls. Um, they are, they are, <laughs> let me see, 50 gram balls. There's 92 yards, 85 meters in one of these balls, one of these skeins. Okay, it's 60% polyester, 20% cotton, and 20% silk. Now you would really think with the 20% 20 silk in it, that it would be really soft. And I guess for cotton, maybe it is, but I'm not a cotton person. So <clears throat> someone who really likes cotton will love these. All right. And they're just beautiful colors. They're absolutely gorgeous, stunning colors. Uh, so I'm going to give this away. So what you guys need to do is make a comment down below. And in the comment, it has to say, Soho. Okay. So, and whatever you say in the comment, as long as it says Soho, you're going to be in the giveaway. All right? So, there's that. I haven't done a giveaway in a long time. So, I think that now is a good time. Okay? <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, anyways, thanks for joining me. Uh, George and I are going to be doing the the new... Uh, bod squad questionnaire <laughs> so if you haven't seen their video I'll leave that link down below as well or maybe I'll put it up here or something uh, and so keep an eye out for that it'll probably be today sometime <laughs> okay so I will talk to you guys later and I love you all and I hope you're all safe and hello to all the new subscribers. Today is a good day for you to subscribe because of the giveaway. <laughs> so anyways, I will talk to you guys later. Okay. Love you very much. Very much. Stay safe. Okay. Bye. Bye.